Hey, everybody. Thank you so much for joining me today. My name is Sheila. I am a team leader for With Love Oil. Uh, with Love and Oil, sorry. Um, I am a Reiki master here in Las Vegas, Nevada for With Love Reiki and Healing. And today I wanted to do a little video just for my team members and for those that are kind of interested, uh, the oils to use for our spiritual and our energetic protection. So not to get too deep into the crazy craziness of things right uh, the energy lately have for me have been a lot more intense and so the first thing I turned to is my oils and so I wanted to share what I did um, to assist me in what I was going through so this class today is going to be all about that let me just go ahead and share my screen here and see what happens hold oh, please Let's see And let's get this guy. All right. There we go. Okay. So, again, we're doing an intro oils class on spiritual and energetic protection with essential oils with Shield for Funny Cook. Um, so, moving through here, this is a disclaimer. I am not a doctor or a medical professional. The information shared here is meant for educational purposes only. This information and the products discussed are not meant to diagnose, treat, cure, or prevent any disease. Statements made have not been evaluated by the FDA. And if you have a medical condition, please consult your physician. I'm independent of Young Living, and my views and information may differ from that of the Young Living Company. Okay, that's the legal part. <laughs> um, one of the reasons that I choose to young use Young Living is not that it's just our wonderful seed to seal. So if you don't know what seed to seal is, it's basically, simply put, it is our set of standards that helps ensure that with every pure essential oil, and Young Living product your family uses, you are enjoying the benefit of global resources, industry leadership, and over two decades of innovation. So we strive um, very, very hard to be responsible in our field, in um, the way that we harvest things, all aspects of it, which for me is a huge, huge part of why I use Young Living. The Tipping factor for me, though, however, is because I am an energy worker. I do work with energy, is the energy of the oils. For me, you can feel them. There's a life force that just exudes from the bottle. And so it makes sense that this is why I use them, right? So if you've never really checked it out, I think there's a video on my YouTube channel um, about how to feel just bringing your hand over the bottle. So, for instance, we'll just start here. So I have. Oh, where is it? Camera. <laughs> higher Unity, right? This is a phenomenal one. If you don't have Higher Unity, uh, this one has not been measured on the frequency, but it is off the charts. You can just feel it. Um, even opening the bottle, it just shifts the energy in the room. So if you're not you know, really sensitive to energies, it's okay. You will still be able to kind of bring your hand up and just kind of lower. So I want to see. There we go. So you can lower it over and begin to feel in the palm. Uh, you can just any any of the oils that we have, you just feel the energy within the palm. Give it a try. See what you think. Anyway, um, that's why I use them. Okay. So, our energetic protection, our spiritual protection. You have to remember that everything is just energy. So everything's energy. Mm, myself, the computer here, the waves that are going out to reach you, what it's sitting on. All of this is energy. It's just how we perceive it and the different densities that we have. So. Again, as I say with everything, if the things that I'm saying to you right now don't resonate with you, it's okay. It just doesn't bother me. Um, keep what you will, let go of the rest, and just enjoy it, okay? The uh, so things that we need to do to keep ourselves well, right? It's all about well-being. We need to make sure our energy is in a higher space. So to explain that, if you are feeling sad, or you are going through some kind of grief, you're very heavy, you're feeling very low, overwhelmed with very heavy emotion. Um, so those are lower vibrations, not bad or good, just lower and higher, so the way that they kind of flow. So we all have these experiences of ups and downs, right? And sometimes, though, we have mm, outside influences, I'll say it that way. I'm not saying that the boogeyman is coming after you, I'm not saying you're so walked into some kind of demon realm. I'm not saying that at all. What I'm saying is every now and again, we experience an energetic shift um, that doesn't need to be within us or doesn't need to be around us. Okay, so it's an outside influence. 
just keep in mind that it's just energy. So if you want to say, you know, people will say a curse or a demon or something, whatever, but that sounds scary. That sounds like, oh my gosh, just think of it as energy. This is a lower vibrational energy, plain and simple. Okay. Um, so what I usually tend to do is keep my vibration high. I'm a firm believer that when we are vibrating in a space that has a higher vibration, we are above those things of a heavier density or a lower vibration, and they really can't affect us. Again, every now and again, something will shift, and we will be open to an outside influence that is a very lower vibration. Okay. So sometimes it's not enough to just lift your vibration up. And now, again, typically this is what I do all the time. Um, years ago, I would do more shielding, which is what we're going to talk about today. Um, shielding would be more of an, a shield of energy. I, you know, maybe you take your uh, bubble of energy around you. You would block out any kind of negative energy. Um, like I said, what I do now is kind of how to rise above it. And every now and again, I will have to shield. But the energies as of late have been interesting okay so I felt like shielding was uh, much more necessary okay so here we go outside influences what is that an outside influence is anything outside of your energetic field so an outside influence could be something as simple as an energy entanglement from a loved one a family member a friend a stranger on the street that you just passed or it could be something more it can be maybe a vibration of anger right that you're sensing and now it's within you and you're kind of experiencing that or hatred or a negative thought, things like that. So outside influences are lower vibrations. There can be energy, they can be entities, they can be thoughts, they can be emotions. Anything that's stemming from outside of your own field, okay? So if this isn't making sense to you, it's okay. There's tons more to watch, but if you're still with me, thank you, okay? All right, so the ways that you could be affected. Now, again, mind you, um, there's a lot of information that I could give to you about different entities and energies and lower vibrational this and that, but we're not doing that today. This video is just strictly about how we can use our essential oils to assist us and support us when we are experiencing these kinds of things. Okay, so just have that in your heart when I'm saying this stuff. So the ways that we could be affected, um, negative thoughts. We can have a lot of reoccurring negative thoughts. Now, humans already have that happening. So it's very easy. We're very susceptible to, um, let's see, like different energies or different thought patterns that may not be, oh, so we may have some worry, right? So think like this, like perfect example. You have a little bit of worry within you. Maybe your child or a loved one or something, something your job, you have some worry going on, right? So you're walking down the street and you have a little, little bit of worry within you. And you walk through a wave, uh, let's call that worry. And worry says, oh, there's a little bit of seed of worry within here. I'm going to go hang out in this energy. And so it feeds and it grows and it grows. And now you have all these horrible negative thinking that you're like, where am I thinking this? Where did it come from? Okay, it could be as simple as that, right? So negative thoughts, you may be tired. You may think yourself very, very tired. And you find that, you know, you maybe slept a whole bunch last night, but you're still exhausted, you know? Things like that, depression or sadness, that's for no reason. Um, you're just feeling that anger, same thing for absolutely no reason. There's nothing that really made you angry. You just feel this anger, um, feeling off. Many of us know how we feel normally. So sometimes we do have negative thoughts and we know that it's okay. Or we're tired and we know that it's okay. Or we're a little bit depressed or sad for the moment and we're okay. But when we feel off, we just feel out of balance, just not okay right? Um, you may be experiencing bad dreams or really bad sleep. Uh, those are a few of the things that you can be, or ways that you can be affected by an outside influence. Okay. Now we're coming to it. So essential oils to use. Again, I am not addressing your everyday run of the mill kind of like mm, exterior influencing. Of your energy i'm talking about here like some really serious this is not something i experience every day kind of energy okay i'm going to start with telling you if you have you can you can see that oh that up there there's empty glass okay boom the oils of ancient scripture this is a kit and i got it a few 
a few months back and I love, love, love it because it's got a whole bunch of oils in here. Uh, but these are some bad boys. These are some, these are some serious heavy duty weights uh, as far as oils go. Okay. Many of these oils, all well, actually all these oils are found uh, to be used and they referenced in the Bible. Um, they have been used for many, 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 many years. There is history. There is mm, knowledge behind it. Okay. So these oils that are in this kit are from a time when things were very heavy energetically. It was much different than in ancient times than it is now. So these are very good to balance out and align with the energies that need to be removed when we're dealing with some, some heavy, serious bad boys. Okay? Um, so frankincense. It's great for everything. But if you're dealing with some really, like I said, some some energetic entities that aren't so cool uh, or some really you know, negative thoughts, something like that, frankincense is a powerhouse. It is ancient. So it's going to work really well, right? So frankincense, sacred frankincense, I just grabbed mine out of the oils of the ancient scriptures here. And I'm just going to open it because it smells great. So good. So good. Frankincense, you can... It's like or everything. Um, myrrh is another one. Also grab some myrrh. Oh, here we go. Myrrh. Can you see myrrh? Uh, again, if you ever use myrrh, be aware it does tend to. I don't know if I can get the top off. I usually have to have my husband do it. So yeah, okay. Myrrh, the top sticks to it really a lot. One time I tried pliers, it didn't work out. One time I thought I opened it by myself, and in reality, there's a little piece inside, and so I'm stepping it in the diffuser and all over the place. So myrrh is sticky. I'll say that. Sticky, sticky, sticky. But the, again, this is an ancient oil. It is a bad boy. There's some power behind this this uh, little oil here in this bottle, frequency-wise, right? Um, Palo Santo. So Palo Santo is something that I use uh, in my practice all the time. It's for smudging. You know, many people use sage as a smudge, right? You light it and you know, smudge the room. Palo Santo is another way. It's along the same line if you've never used it, it's Hollywood. So uh, I typically wear this often, uh, especially when I'm doing sessions. So a little bit of Palo Santo, maybe on the lower spine, on the bottoms of the feet, anywhere. This is a, this is a good one and it smells wonderful. It smells so much better than even burning the wood. Ah. <laughs> Excuse me. So let's see, sage. We have the sage here too. Bam, right? Rose of Sharon, not the big one, sister. So I don't really care for the way this one smells, but it works. And I, I don't know why I was called to use this one, but this was one I was called when I just went through what I went through to use this. And it really, you could feel the shift. You can definitely feel a shift. Okay, so sage, same thing. This doesn't exactly smell like white sage. If you're used to smudging, you usually use white sage. But oh, wow. This and the Palo Santo together, I use that a lot too. So you put that in a spray bottle, spray it around. Um, sometimes it's not okay for you to burn a stick of sage or some Palo Santo in, in an indoors area. So in a little bit in a bottle or on some diffuser jewelry, right? Uh, it helps in the same manner. So it's really good to use there. Three Wise Men. Three Wise Men is probably one of the oldest. You can kind of even see after you get a new bottle because it's kind of cracking here. The Three Wise Men is amazing. It has frankincense, it has myrrh, it has sandalwood, it has juniper. It's got tons of stuff in there. So in that blend alone of Three Wise Men, it has some powerhouse oil okay, to help us shift out of that negative vibration. Um, sandalwood. Oh, I have my aloes here. So aloes is just sacred sandalwood. All right. Uh, one of my favorites, by the way, uh, forever and ever. The smell. But using sandalwood, again, another ancient oil. Um, Exodus 2. So this is one that I really felt to diffuse recently. Uh, how do I say this? So this oil helps to support our physical body's defense system, right? A lot of times, the way you can work with oils is what it does physically for you is what it can do for you energetically. So because this helps to support our body's defense system, 
in the same manner, it would be like that energetically. So it would help us energetically support our defense system. Does that make sense? Okay. So the Exodus 2 is one that, uh, this is also kind of, you might want to, if you're going to use it topically, you use it in the carry oil. But I just use this one often. It, it, you, can, you can feel it. When you have it in a diffuser, it's just a, the mini turn on, you can feel the energy uh, really kind of move. Um, so with these, same concept, these, if you have, all you have is these, same thing, pop it in the diffuser, it helps to build up our body's defense system. So it will do the same thing energetically. Uh, white angelic is one that I carry with me all time. So I don't want to say it's not a powerhouse like the others are, but it does its job. For me, I don't leave my home without my Angelica. I have it in my purse, I have it in my office, I have it in my home, upstairs and downstairs. Uh, I use it often, like a lot. So if I'm out in the world and it's too much and I'm doing too much peopling, this is what I'm gonna use, right? It's just to get me through until I can get home or I can kind of clear my energy. It really is like a shield of angel wings around you, if you will, okay? Another one that I just had, okay, if I'm saying this wrong, I didn't put it up there. But it's Hong Koi or something like that. Ah, sorry if I'm mispronouncing it. But this is, again, and this actually, I believe, is some videos on YouTube you can see about this uh, that Young Living put out. But this oil is from a tree. And these trees have to grow for a really long time um, before they're able to use them. So it's not so much rare as it is, just it's a very powerful. The wood that from these trees that were used to make this oil, um, they are used to build temples, right? They are used, they want cedar wood, cedar wood, cypress, those kind of things too. I didn't put them on there, but if that's something that you're called to do, follow your guidance and, and go ahead and do that. But they're very powerful oils also, as far as um, ridding our energy of anything that does not belong to us, okay? Um, and there's a whole slew. There really are. They, any of the tree oils typically are, are really, really strong in, in that same kind of vibration to help clear away um, the energy. But these that I have listed here are, to me, um, very, how to say, in line with the density that uh, I experience. It's a little more, it's a lot more. It's heavier. It's very heavy energy. And so these really can counteract that. We can combat it. A really good tip. Okay, so side note. Everything being energy, everything being frequency. There are two oils that I did not put up here. Well, minus the other one, so there's three. But these two, so it's rose oil and higher unity. So higher unity, I just spoke about. But these two, um, if you ever use them, the minute you put them on or open the bottle, you can feel the energetic shift in the room. So if you don't have any of the oils that I have here, or you're not called to use any that are listed there, and you have rose oil, or you have higher unity, the frequency alone, the vibrational life force that you can work with is powerful. You can instantly feel it. So don't take my word for it. Check it out. You can see how you feel. Put a little bit topically on your body or even diffuse it, whatever it is. Rose is kind of expensive, you may just want to smell it, but even doing that, even opening the bottle, you can feel the shift, okay? So those are some of the suggestions that I would say to you if you are battling forces that are not good for you, right? or good to be around, or energy, you're feeling different, you're feeling off. Um, I will also say, if you use any of these oils regularly, Choose something different. Use a different oil. So if you use frankincense every day, so you put it in with your lotion, you put it on your face or something, and you use frankincense every day, and you, suddenly you're in some kind of energetic battle, uh, grab Palo Santo. Okay, use a different oil that you don't um, typically use. Okay. Let's see. So once we are done with the oils. <laughs> Ways to maintain your energy. And again, I can go really deep in this, but this is not what this video is about. It's about the oils. So ways to maintain your energy. Meditation. I'm just going to put them here. Meditate away. 
uh, I always joke and say I don't float around Vegas saying Om for hours a day. It would be cool if I did, even a few moments, even a few moments of meditation just to kind of face you into that space and make you uh, aware of what your energy feels like and what other energy feels like so you know the difference. Being aware of it is very important, right? Choosing joy. And I didn't grab my joy oil. It's over there in the box, but joy is huge. When we're in a constant vibration of joy, um, or more frequently than we would be normally, you know, like, you have to have off days, it's fine. But constantly being in joy, being in that vibration keeps you in a place where you really cannot be affected too, too much. It helps to maintain your energy. Feeling good, choosing to feel good, doing things that feel good to you, right? Um, laughter, things like that. Uh, exercise. A good environment. You don't want to be somewhere where you feel heavy, where you feel negative, where you feel just icky, right? Uh, keep in mind your intake. So that's not just, you know, I'm home vegan and that's what I'm doing. So I'm all high vibrational. It's food. Yes, but it's entertainment. It's the things that you watch, the movies you watch, the TV you watch. If you watch TV, uh, any kind of streaming videos, music you listen to. Uh, books, things like that. That's your intake. What are you, what are you surrounding yourself? What kind of vibrations are you having out there? Right? And essential oils. It's the best way to maintain your energy, right? If we're using them all the time, we won't have to fight back that hard when we get something mm -hmm. negative coming our way. So things to remember. Happy little throw there. Uh, aware of how you feel. And you want to remember to check in with yourself, to check in with your energy, check in with your body, to make sure you're feeling well, first of all, know how you feel, right, normally, and just see how you, how you are that day, every day. Um, know when you're feeling off. Don't you know, push it away and be like, oh, I'm fine, I can do this. There might be a reason for it, right? So energetically, you, you want to deal with that. You want to handle that. Um, what can you do to help? What, you know, what can you do that's going to make you feel better? How can you help your energy um, be in a better place, right? Um, and then the most important one is use your oils. I mean, you have to use your oils. They look great sitting in the box. They look great on the shelf. They look fantastic in the little beautiful container you have to carry in your purse. That's all wonderful. But you have to use your oils all day long. Like, I joke on my Facebook group about, okay, so what oils have you used today? It's not what oils have you used today. It's what oils have you used in like the last two hours? What did you use this morning? You know, how many diffusers do you have going on right now? Things like that. Use your oils. Use them. They are wonderful healing tools. They're wonderful tools to aid and support us. And they have to be used in order for them to work. Okay? So you can diffuse them. You can put them on topically. It doesn't matter where you put them. Okay? Plain and simple. It doesn't matter. You can put them on your crown. You can put them on the chakras. You can put them on your wrist. You can put them on the bottom of your feet. It doesn't have to have an exact spot. You know, unless you're working with other other different forms of stuff. <laughs> but it doesn't really matter. Just use them. Get them on you, right? Like I said before, if you can't burn sage or you can't diffuse, maybe in a water bottle in the office, a little spray bottle, you know, maybe a little cologne bottle, something like that, and, and spritz around. Put them on diffuser jewelry. A couple of drops on the, on the lava beads, right? Um, I don't have them today, but I usually have, like, earrings that have a diffuser. Little lava beads on them also. I use them in there. And just have it going around you, right? You're creating that shield around you. All right. So if you are not enrolled with Young Living and you would like to be, it's very simple. You can go to um, youngliving.com. Uh, you can go to my website, withloveraking.com, and there's actually a little button you can click and brings you straight to this stuff. But if you go to Young Living, you can choose your PSK, which is your previous starter kit. You can enter the enroller and sponsor. My number is there. It's 147 33552. That puts you under my team and that allows me to help you and support you on your oil journey, right? Um, say yes to essential oils program because it's the best way to do your oils is essential rewards. You get points for free things. So we, uh, you start saving 24% off on your products once you become a member, okay? Um, and then just begin to live your best oily life. Okay? If you have any questions or comments, um, nice comments, please. Uh, Sheila at withloveraking.com is my email. And again, this video was... So basically, I'm going to say this. If you're in an energetic world or a spiritual world, you know what I'm saying. This is not for like 
light and hard stuff. And it doesn't happen every single day. So if you're feeling heavier, if you're feeling really off, if you feel like you've been affected by something that's not of you, you need to handle it. And the oils are a wonderful way to do it. And that's what this whole video was. So this is not like, oh, I just feel off today. No, this is like, oh my God, there's something attached to me or something like, okay, it's that kind of thing. It's a heavier thing. I don't want to like freak you out because it's not anything to get scared about. But like I said, these oils are powerful tools. And so we have the opportunity to help ourselves by using them, right? Okay. And that is the last little guy there. So let me go ahead and bring this back and stop my share. Here we go. Okay. So again, um, this wasn't meant to freak you out and it's not like, the exorcist or something it's not it's not like that but it is something when we do run into more uh, denser energy okay that these are the powerhouse oils that i would suggest to use all right and i appreciate your time thank you thank you thank you everyone for watching this and joining me and let me know if i could be of any assistance okay and take care and i'll see you soon